What if it was possible to put on a virtual reality headset and time travel 3.5 billion years into the past to discover what the first life on Earth was like, all with complete scientific justification? With First Life, you get this opportunity to journey with David Attenborough and unlock the secrets to how life evolved on Earth. From the tiny single-celled organisms, all the way to the bizarre and beautiful creatures that prowled our ancient oceans. First Life came out of a desire to push the boundaries of CG immersive media production, to inform studios how to further immerse mobile VR users in virtual worlds without being subject to the limits of real-time computation. David Attenborough had literally traveled the world for 50 years making incredible shows about animals who were living. But one of the things he was really fascinated in was this period going back 500 million years. That needed a whole new technology. Using the latest technology, it's possible to bring to life the very first living creatures that appeared on the planet. He was fascinated to go on this new journey of starting to tell the story from the very, very first speck on Earth, the very first cell on Earth, all the way through to the human. Realizing this ambitious story and creative proposed a number of pretty big technical challenges for our team. How are we going to build accurate 3D models of ancient creatures? How are we going to build a pipeline that would support 8K 60 frames per second for a CG asset? And how are we going to bring sound to an ancient ocean that no one's ever heard? Initially, we had a, a big binder of research. We would then design and come up with our best guesses as to what the creature looked like, and then we'd send them to the paleontologists. And then they would send us the feedback. And it was a backwards and forwards thing that went on uh, for quite a few weeks. The biggest challenges that uh, we faced at Zoo was the, um, the amount of rendering that we had to do. When it comes to 8K at 360, in my experience, no one had done this before. To realize the ambitious vision of first life and to support visuals and bring them to life, spatial audio was a critical component. And I think that really allows us to create this open environment that sounds really uh, complex and externalized for the audience. By pre-rendering complex CG stories in stereoscopic 8K video, First Life is able to achieve its wonderful natural history storytelling at a quality that sets a new bar for media in mobile VR headsets. I think for me and the team at Alchemy Immersive, producing First Life has shown us that we've reached a milestone for immersive storytelling. Just like the Cambrian Ocean period, we've entered a new era where realizing or recreating stories beyond our imaginations is finally possible and all in a way that really lives up to the expectation of what we think VR should be.